Ramesh Sippy was born to a luminous family of the Indian film industry. So it's safe to say that cinema is in his DNA. However, his first real step towards his calling was when he left a career in economics in London to work in the exciting world of filmmaking under the guidance of his father, Mr. G.P. Sippy. The next eight years were a whirlwind of learning, creativity and tireless enthusiasm as he juggled between college life and assisting every department on several films. Finally, on his 25th birthday in 1969, he decided to take on his first directorial venture, Andaz. Dil usse do jo jam, de de jam, usse do jo dil de de. He chose the challenging subject of widow remarriage that was way ahead of its time and treated the story with a sensitivity that surpassed his age. The film went on to become a super hit and is remembered till today by its popular song performed on screen by superstar Rajesh Khanna. Describing Ramesh Sippy as a filmmaker alone would be an injustice to his varied talents. Besides being a highly acclaimed film director and producer, he is a gifted storyteller and a master craftsman. <laughs> He immerses himself into all aspects of everything he does. He introduced Indian cinema to many new filmmaking technologies, including 70mm and stereophonic sound. Surely, widely considered a landmark film for Indian cinema is his masterwork, as are blockbusters like Shakti. <laughs> Sita or Gita. Nichi Aja Beti. Open Aja Moti. Sagar. And Shah. He became a household name for millions across the globe when he directed the cult classic television show, Bunya. He started giving back to the industry very early in his career by becoming a part of various forums and associations of Indian cinema and entertainment. He has held leadership positions like President, Film and Television Producers Guild of India. Our problem at the moment is to try and see the owners of that content finally are able to get uh, their fair share out of it. Co-chairman, Media and Entertainment Division, Fiki. But I do feel that in every field, we have a lot of potential. There are problems, we will solve them. And chairperson, NFDC. He is co-founder of the Mumbai Academy of Moving Images and worked with them for over 15 years. He has served on several juries and chaired the National Film Awards in 2010 and 2016. He also serves on the advisory board of the International Indian Film Academy, IFA. With great humility, I accept this. Thank you, thank you so much. His list of awards and accolades is beyond comparison. In the year 2000, BBC conducted an opinion poll and declared Sholay the film of the millennium. At its 50th anniversary, 
the Filmfare Awards honored Mr. Sippy with a golden statuette for being the maker of the best film, Shole, in 50 years. For his contribution to cinema and entertainment, in 2013, he was conferred the Padma Shri. It was only the natural next step for him in his long, illustrious career to want to empower young minds to become masters of their craft. Would you want to give some tips to the directors? I'm starting the Ramesh Sippy Academy of Cinema and Entertainment. Come, I'll teach you. His next and perhaps greatest creation will be the future generations of creative individuals who will fulfill their dreams, reach their potential, and thus take the Indian film industry to greater heights. With the Ramesh Sippy Academy of Cinema and Entertainment, RSAs, he is passing down not just education, but a treasure trove of knowledge with a deep-rooted legacy.